What shall we play? I've got so many Steam games! Let's try playing them all. You heard her. Hyakupasento Orange Juice. So, yeah, here we are. Hey, Storpy, it's Christmas. Children all over the world are excitedly waiting for their presents. It's been a big hurdle getting everything ready in time, but seeing the warm smiles on the children's faces makes it all worth it. You'll get a present too, of course. Pick any you like. My God. Pick present four. Yeah, I really select that present. Oh, right. We got it. What's in it? There you go. How do you like it? It's empty. Have you perhaps been a bad kid? No, wait, they're all empty. All the presents are gone. There's a note inside one of the bags. What does it say? Present abduction courtesy of Waruda. Santa is a dummy. Why, well, it's those bad kids again. Hmm, what's the matter, Aru? Rain, all the presents have been stolen. Can you smell where they might have gone? Let me try. Sniff, sniff. I got it. There's a trail we can follow to find the presents. All right, let's go get the presents back. Stoppy, I hope you don't mind helping us. Together, we can save Christmas. Well, I was going to do my... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Cool. That's... Good God. Right. Yep, that's good. Let's, let's get out of that. Okay, so... <laughs> this is our first game of the entire series. Welcome. Uh, this is 100% orange juice, and I have no idea what Scramble for an Xmas Miracle Returns is. But let's go next. We'll check our challenge board. Yeah, we're, that's fine. I just want to play regular, regular game. But I don't know how we do that. So welcome to this new format. Um, we're going to be giving ourselves 30 minutes, of course, for each game. No more, no less. Uh, and, I mean, I guess, single player. I don't know what this is. I bought it years ago. Um, it looked like a fun Mario Party-esque kind of game that I was going to play with some friends, so I bought a four-pack for something like 80p. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know quite what we're doing with it. Um, we never played it, so... We'll, we'll play QP. Yeah, we'll play QP. QP Chan this. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy this. Um, original CPU characters' performance is customized individually. Well, this is, this format is all about trying to trying to see what happens. And I think we're we're in starting the timer for thirty minutes. Let's go. La 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 la. And I'm having pudding for a snack today. Tomorrow, the day after, every single day. Popu. Da 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 dash. Wait up. Da 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 dash. What's going on? Po. Popo. A strange creature. Hey, you there, dog girl. Catch that girl. Eh? Eh? Poo. Snatch. Oh, no. Popo got pudding. M my pudding? Popo is digging in. No! Not gonna let you. Popo. My pudding. Give it back to me. Negative Popo. Looks like there's something fun going on. I've got no time for you, Yuki. Come back later. Okay. That QP, who the heck does she think she is? What are you doing, dog girl? Popo is coming your way. Roger that. Popo. Well, we've really got started here, haven't we? It's a deck builder. Okay. Um. Select a character, create a deck. Well, this is our character. We'll have number five cosmetics. Oh, no, we won't. We're, no, we're, we're not doing that. We've only got half an hour. Um... Yep, deck one. I think it looks good. That's fine. We'll just we'll take it and go. Attempt to start a game with less than ten cards. I just got an achievement. All right. So we need to we need to prepare some cards. Oh, I see. So let's let's choose some cards, shall we? Roll two dice for movement. That sounds good. Um, I like dealing one damage. That's nice. Don't know what we're doing. We'll we'll have a heal as well. Um, that could be useful. All players are randomly moved. Um, oh, these have costs on the right-hand side. Uh, let's, let's take a couple of battle cards. Discard a random card. That sounds okay. Your next turn will be skipped. That might be useful at one point. And then, next time you land on a drop panel, the players with the highest number of stars will lose the same number of stars as you. That sounds really good. Let's go! So, yeah. That's, that's the idea of this series. We don't know what a lot of the stuff in my enormous Steam library is going to be. Ah, this is where... This is the Mario Party looking thing. 
Jesus, this is fast. Okay. Super All Out mode. Is that my card? Is that his card? Oh, card. Ah, choose a card to use. All the units gain plus two during their next battle. No, I'm okay. Well, let's move. We get to move four. One, two, three, four. What are the colours? Ward. Drop. Bonus. I like the sound of bonus. Let's go to bonus. Okay. I got four stars, did I? What did I get four of? Stars. She's fighting something. She's fighting a chicken. That's on the red ones. <laughs> this is so quick. Okay, you got a bonus, which presumably was bonus stars. What are you doing? Cool. He got maybe a, a card. Is a uh, draw. Green is draw. I see. Gift. What's gift? Oh shit! What did I do? All right. Well, that's that. Um, I don't know what these are. What does that say? Check. Maybe we want to try and get there. How do I get more cards? Oh, by drawing. Okay, let's get the bonus. Four bonus stars, which I think we used to... The Norma hasn't been achieved, and so she's healing. There's a mine layer. He's done something with stars and moved three and four. <laughs> Fuck me. This is... All right. Hang on. Game speed normal. That's what I want. Oh, hello. Profanity filter. Yeah, we'll leave that disabled. We want as much profanity as possible. Right. Hopefully we'll be able to follow this a bit better now. Let's move once more. Challenge to battle. Seven health. We got five health, but we got a load of stars. How many stars do they have? Can we tell? Oh, it's down here. Yuki. Are you... No, who are you? You're Mari Popo. You have seven stars. Just fuck it. Let's challenge this to a battle. Let's do it. Okay. Click. Oh, we attack with five. That's good. Um, so I've got plus zero to all of my defense and evades. Oh, she's got minus one to all her rolls. Okay, well, that's good to know. What's this? Oh, it's emotes. Okay. Now yeah, we'll defend. How did you hit me? You rolled a one. How did that end? Did we... I don't know what happened there. No one's got a win. Oh, this guy's got a win. I don't know. Um, the next Norma. Get 30 or more stars. Sounds good. I've been getting a lot of stars, so... I've healed, so that battle only went on for a, a hit each. You dropped a load of stars. Oh, drop seems bad then. Ah, warp, not ward. Right, okay. He fights a duck. I don't know where the cards come into it. This is a more acceptable pace, isn't it? Okay, move. Is everyone liking 100% orange juice so far? How many have we moved? We were there. One, two, three, four, five, four, five. Yeah, let's, let's go for a teleport. Oh. A marginally underwhelming teleport there. I can't believe I actually bought this for myself. Oh, am I being challenged? No, I'm not. He didn't want to challenge me. Interesting. Oh, what's this? All units gain two attack during their next battle. All units. Is that everyone on the field? Well, I don't want to do that. If that's the case. Good. Well, we're approaching this Norma, aren't we? 20 stars. The next highest is 14. Assuming that's what we're trying to achieve here. I'd imagine there's a tutorial, actually, but it's it's been more fun just to jump in as we are. Mine layer sounds scary. We'll move. Six. Oh, yeah, we'll challenge you. Yeah, because you've already got a win. We want to take you down. Oh, plus two to attack. That's a bit scary. All right. Two damage. Lovely. Oh, my goodness. We'll try and evade that. Bloody hell. What does that mean? Am I just out now? A poor decision. 
healing. Okay. Oh no. How much time have I got left? <laughs> Five or hard to revive. Okay. Fine. We don't need to worry about that. Oh wow, you get to roll two dice. Star get to ya. Really learn some more Japanese from this game. He's close to 20, uh, 30 stars. He's gonna uh, get Norma. Damn it. So it looks like the requirement to revive goes down by one each time. Who wins this? How do you win? And what are these stars? Oh, it's level two, okay. Level two, level two, level two, level two. Yeah, 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 because we've all got two stars on there, but those are different from the stars that we have as currency. All right, this is going down by one each time. Yay, we revived, brilliant. Nice jingle, the next bonus does something. The music's cool. No one wants to battle. Makes sense. Maybe they all saw what happened to me. Oh, these are AI, by the way, guys. These aren't real people, as far as I'm aware. Oh, they are battling, right. It's a Sunday morning. I'm, I'm perhaps not in the right state of mind for this level of sugar. Uh, okay. Do you know what? Let's... Oh, I can't select it. Of course I can't. Let's move. Nice big... No. Um, draw, yeah. Do I want to stop at home? Sure. The Norma hasn't been achieved. How do I know what the Norma is? Do I need to... Oh, of course you get the Norma. How do I find what they are? Do I just have to remember it? Two player, two player, two player. Oh, player two, player two, player two. That's not helpful. Well, I don't know how we'd know what the normas are. Do we just have to remember them? Uh, I'm trying to find anywhere. Never mind. Let's just keep moving. We know where we are with moving. Oh, one, two, three. Should we try and land on that? Trap. Oh, bollocks. A trap followed by an encounter. Six is good. Shame he defended so well. I will defend that. Easy. Look at that. Maybe you always take one damage. Oh no, his attack was plus something, wasn't it? I... Mm. You've got 30 stars. Looks like we have to achieve these four things and then maybe something happens. Oh, they're fighting. Who do we want to win? Probably Kai, because he's lower level. This dude. Okay. Five. And yeah, we'll take five bonus stars. Lovely. Itadakimas. Dangerous pudding. The next turn is skipped. I think that's it. Gift exchange. All cards are gathered and distributed randomly, I think that was. Well. I'm rolling in cash today, he says. Well, I was. I was doing really well until this happened. Actually, I don't want to... Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, right. Here we go. Let's try and work out what happens. Two. Two attack. You tried evading and you rolled higher, I guess means you evade. So I can't roll higher than that, so let's defend instead. One damage is still done, but he had plus one attack, so that kind of makes sense. <laughs> we all get free stars for some reason. Bloody hell. Drop. I'd lose five stars. 
These guys are cheating. And what was all that story about the pudding and Popo and Dog Girl? I guess I'm Dog Girl. Right, I'm going to use this. Pay one health when you use this card. During this battle, gain plus two attack. What battle? How do I use that card during a battle? I wasn't given the option earlier. Maybe I have to prepare it? Can't select. All right, well, we'll do the only thing open to us, which is to move. I get two stars. Despite rolling one. To be fair to it, this is a fairly well-polished game. You just need to know what the hell you're doing. And enjoy it. I used to land on... right. 3-4 or 3-4. Uh, do I want to land on a trap? Yeah, we want the stars. Discard a random card. That card will go to the person who laid the trap. Don't know whose trap it was. Don't know what card's gone. Maybe it was the one I was holding. I think I possibly overestimated how much of a deck builder this was going to be. Bloody hell, 70 stars or more. He's on 103! And she's on 107. Yeah, I'll move. Don't even have any cards. Do we want to fight her? Absolutely not. Oh, I get my card back. Brilliant. All units gain plus two attack. Now, it looked like, yeah, all of us. Doesn't want to stop at home. She's fighting a strange Christmas Pokemon. Yeah, why is it all Christmas themed? I'm playing this for reference on the 11th of February. Uh-oh. Pa, 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 indeed. We can do better than a three. Let's evade. Yeah, you missed. All right, I think I understand how that works. Lovely. What card do I get? Oh, is that you getting the card? Why do you get to get a card? I won the battle. Let's get away from her. Five. Boss, or boss, <laughs> or bonus with a trap on it. Do I want to stop at home? Yeah. Oh, I got a Norma. Right, what does that mean? So that means I level up, right? Yeah, okay, I'm now level three because I cleared that. And I choose my next one, maybe. Get 70 or more stars. Defeat five or more enemies. I think I've only defeated, I've defeated zero enemies. So let's get 70 or more stars. I'm de so you set your own targets that they're not set across... Across everyone, I guess. Move to t unit... I don't know what that was. She's used it by the look of it. Very nice. Stars for you. What was that card? <laughs> I want to see what your card was, but... Ooh! Absolutely vicious! Yeah, well, let's have a look at what that card was. I want to see. Protagonist's Privilege. Effect duration. Three chapters. Which is three, like, rounds, I guess. When you're allowed to attack first, the opposing unit cannot attack once per combat. That's insane. So has he played that, or is that just sort of in play? I don't know. Let's move. Oh, we had a card. I should have checked what it was. Let's go that way and not battle. We could battle. We did so well last time. Go on, screw it, let's do this. She's got minus one to everything. Pay one health when you use the card, gain plus two attack. If you would suffer a knockout from using this card, the card cannot be used. Go on then. I'll pay one health, then I attack with a shit turn, and oh yeah. Okay. Brilliant, and I got as many stars as it's possible to get. I've achieved a Norma! I need to go and land on there again. Oh, 
Right, let's move. Uh oh. Oh my god. Attacko this! So you always do one damage regardless of how they defend. I mean, we have to. There's no way we're defending that much damage, so we've got to try our luck. Rolling a six. Okay. That's bad news. Oh, we've got a lot of people dead. Ah, oh, come on! First try. Do you know, guys, I'm actually starting to enjoy this now. Okay. Oh, we recovered! Sick! Don't you dare. Dangerous pudding, your next turn will be skipped. Bad news. More stars for us. I lost loads of stars when I died. I won't get that Norma now. Do I have to go to the Normas in order? Like one, two, then three, then four? Don't know. But we'll take a load of stars. Let's see someone defeat this boss. Ooh. Not gonna happen, I think. Yikes! Skip your turn. Wow. Kai, you're doing well. He's chosen stars, which I assume means he needs to get stars in order to... Uh, no. In order to win? Is that his win condition now? Oh, you little cow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll defend that. Easy. Still get hit for one, so you always get hit for one, it seems. Unless you evade successfully. Who lays those mines? Oh, there we go, Norma Clear. Oh, so we don't have to visit them in, in order. Hey, look at this, I'm level four. I'm second. Uh, yeah, 120 or more stars. We should be there soon enough. Get to heal. It's looking all right. Discard a random card. Bad luck. And lose a load of stars. Stop fighting me. Uh-oh. Did she use a card? Um, yeah, we'll defend that. Nice. Beautiful. She's caught up. <laughs> Do you know, the noises are starting to become the norm. The norm now. I haven't achieved the norm, that's a shame. Nah. Neither have you. But we seem to heal when we get there, which is nice. Draws a card. He's done it. I think he's won the game. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well done, Kai. I think I had my, my bets were on you from the start. Well done. Look at that. I come third. Not too bad. Ah, I would have come second if bloody Murray Popper hadn't managed to clear that Norma and then steal a load of stars somehow. Wow. Oh, breakdown of the game stars. I don't understand that. Oh, those, that's how I earned my stars. I got 35 cakes as a reward and I've unlocked a new item. What have I unlocked? A new shop item. All right. So I guess I don't carry on because it was QP episode one. Okay, well, we got, we got another eight minutes. Let's have a look and see, see what else we've got here. There's a guide. Explain a few basics, panels, battle. I think we sort of got, got to grips with it after a while. Let's have a quick look at online, see what there is. Hmm. Now, let's not troll anyone. Oh my god, create. I, no, I don't want to do that. 
I've clicked it again. The sensitivity is slightly higher than my default sensitivity. Have a look at player info. There you go, I've collected 12% of the cards. Konnichiwa, yeah, what's that? I want uh, an exclamation mark, there we go. I want things to be said in stars. Oh no, that's how we do it, cool. Okay. Okay this. That's good, let's, let's keep that. I'm happy. Shall we um, go casual? Do I have to see all this again? I can't believe we have to see all that again. Come on, game. I've only got six minutes forty until we uh, until we finish this. Yeah. One, 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 one. They did not serve me in any way last time, so this time I'm not too worried. Oh, hi. We got all super fast. Let's try and get through this. Okay, it's fighting. And he did quite well, but he didn't win the fight. I guess most of them end in draws. Let's go. Move. Haven't achieved the norma. Don't know what the norma is. Genuinely don't know what the norma is. Hang on. What are we going for? Oh, it starts off with get 10 or more stars. Cool. In the meantime, three goes have been taken. Choose target player. Well, that's her. She's targeted me. She's gone. Cool. Move. Go. Four. Uh, uh, let's go that way. Uh, let's go there. I want bonus stars. No, don't change into a battle. Go. Two. Lovely. Uh, what's our card? Can't use it. We need to do it during battle. Go. One, two. Have to drop. Uh, four stars. Brilliant. I'm back to back to zero. Doesn't look good for me winning, does it? Crap. I wonder what 100% uh, orange juice means. Like, where's that? Where's that come from? Why is it named so? Hyper mode. I think I had that already, didn't I? Well, I got two of them now. I have. <laughs> Go on, kill the duck. Basically, nothing happened. We'll move. It's all about the, all about the stars. Thank you. I'm on eight. I'm getting close to the first Norma being cleared. Let's go. Five. Yeah, I did it. I get 30 or more stars. Yeah, for sure. I'm all about the stars. Oh, maybe you're going to start going for battles. What did you guys expect when you clicked on this video? What, what were you expecting to see? Uh, uh, let's go this way. Do an encounter. Uh, yeah, I'll gain two. I didn't see what happened. Oh! Victory. That's actually quite good to split your split your wins like that between stars and enemies. Because then you're more likely to be able to clear different normas. Yeah, you know what? Let's take him out. Oh yes! Oh this is great! I've got three wins that counts as. Did that count as two wins for killing him? Which is amazing, because that means I could probably clear the next Norma that I set. I wonder if it goes up. Oh dear. If your unit suffers KO, you have no, you give no stars or wins, and the unit will revive next turn. Sure, I mean, I'll use that. Let's get another easy one killed. Brilliant. Oh, guys, I'm into this now. Somehow I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> Move. Let's go. What do you mean the norma hasn't been achieved? Oh, because I did I set it to 30, 30 or more stars? Sorry. Yeah, you guys can't can't handle this. 
I did set it to super casual, though. Ah, uh, we need stars. I've got Mimu's hammer. Uh, no, I didn't. Don't know what that was. Maybe that was a mine layer thing that I just landed on a trap. Ooh, victoire! Ah, we want to go there. We've got the requisite 30 stars. Let's not challenge to battle. We'll go this way. Yes. Boom! Defeat five or more enemies. We only need one more. And that has gone up from defeat two or more, more enemies. I was wondering if that would stay down at two and therefore get easier to achieve as you go on and choose the alternate one each other. If that makes sense. But it doesn't, so it doesn't matter. I will take you out, yeah. You've only got two health. I think that's a good time to snipe. Oh dear, plus two attack. Lovely, you don't get a chance. Brilliant. He's only... <laughs> He's only done level one. Oh, and I've got a new win there as well, so that means next time I land on home. One. Uh, let's stop at home. Damn it, we can't. Um, we'll go this way, and we'll get to the encounter. I could take another duck. A duck? Uh, we'll evade that. Oh! Uh, no, we won't, won't battle her. Yes! Defeat five or more enemies. Brilliant. Uh, I think we're on for either of these. Let's go for stars this time. Almost there. Effect duration. Three chapters. Offense and defense will happen twice in all battles. I don't want that. Uh, go this way. Get our stars. Yep. Wonderful, we're getting ever close to that magical 120. Oh dear. <laughs> it's funny as well, I'm, I'm, I'm learning what I can ignore. Oh, the time is going off, guys. That's my half an hour up. I elect this time to continue until the next point. As is my right. The game has earned it. I don't imagine many games are going to earn that, but uh, this game has earned the extension beyond the sacred 30 minutes. Especially since I am kicking ass. That has a big, a big part to do with it. Ah, uh, yeah. No. Haven't achieved the normal, but that's fine. By nine stars. <laughs> Mary Popo's not doing badly. She's on four stars as well. Um, we'll go this way, get some stars. Deal one damage, that's fine. There we go, we've got enough stars. Let's move. All stars, great. I think we'll we'll choose stars for the final final one. Bless him, he's up to 30. Good job, Kai. Let's go. One. <laughs> oh my god, it's starting to get overwhelming. How did you not kill a one health duck? Okay, what are these cards? Heals a health. What's my health? You know what? Let's do it. Then let's move. Uh, yeah, we'll challenge her to a fight. Uh-oh. I think I'll be able to defend that. Uh, 200 or more stars will defeat 14 or more enemies. I've only got 16, uh, 6 wins, so we'll, we'll go for stars. 
So I'm quite close to that. Then we can see what happens when we win. I mean, yeah, we'll we'll take you out. It's fun. Brilliant. Oh, I got stars for that. Of course you get stars for defeating people. It's really worth it. Get a one. Uh, I, I just want to stay there. No, let's go this way. And then, nope, we'll go this way. A boom. Storpy is the winner. Well done, Storpy. You have unlocked being amazing at 100% orange juice on casual difficulty by a bit of luck as well. Yeah, nice. Ta-da, victory. Popo lost. She gets abnormally strong when it comes to pudding. Anyway, it's time to have our stuff back. Exactly, my pudding. No, Popo. What did you just say? Popo dash. Ah! That was our reward. Look at that. Breakdown of the game stars. We get 40 cakes. No unlocks. Shame. Oh, there is a QP episode 2. No, we're not doing that. Thank you for joining me, guys, on this 100% orange juice. If you want to see more of it, then tough luck, because I'm not playing it again. I might do it in my spare time, though. There's something actually weirdly addictive about that. We'll see. Let me know what you thought. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my Steam stuff. And it's 2064, read-only memories. I have no idea where this came from, as with so many of the games in my Steam library. Um, we're going to give it 30 minutes, as usual. Options look good. Let's start a new game. The timer has begun. Mid-Boss presents. 30 minutes of awesomeness, I'm hoping. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. Okay. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. New useful people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain to machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. That sounds like me. They say that wrongs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with Runs. virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. Of course he has. There's always an enterprising idiot, isn't and there? And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. I wonder if that's me. My playable character. See, this is... It's an epic introduction. A really cool sounding story. It's the sort of story... The sort of story-based game that I really want to love, but I I just don't enjoy cyberpunk future shit. I don't know why I said shit. But cyberpunk future stuff. It's not really my... Not really my cup of tea. But let's play the prologue. I might change my mind. That setting sun-looking thing, is that... That reminds me of uh, a really old software company logo. Home sweet home. 
Right, items. Okay, maybe not so sweet. Musty might be a better descriptor. Let's have a look at our inventory. We've got an ID card. Should we look at it? Small plastic ID card with your name, picture, and stats. I'd love to know my stats. Guess I can't. Cool. The menu gives us those options. Let's continue. Should we look out the window? Oh, we can look, just kiss it, or use an item on it. Oh, maintenance request pending. Take the book. More useful holding up the window. All right. Let's drink some coffee. Oh no, let's talk to it. Lost the hops for you a while ago. Right, so we've got a point and click adventure here. Old stale coffee. Well, this is F and K seem clear as day. It's also really gross. <laughs> All right. We should go on Lappy, really, shouldn't we? Let's have a look. It's got a really wide screen. Boot it up. My name Lips, Live Intelligence Processing System. Lappy is a bit of a relic. In 2052. 12 years old, that's quite old. Quite an old computer. An article due tonight, better finish bit before bed. All right, okay today, Journal Logic, Lips Live, Lips Inbox. I guess we'll look at our inbox. Your inbox, a hell so terrifying, so specific, so personal that no other living thing should dare enter. Oh my God, the only person with the password. Get cheap crash. Only 99 creds for 30 day supply, 212 stims. Scam mail, bill, work mail, weekly update, invitation, promotional mail, rent mail. Let's have a look at the invitation. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. An invite to come and see the lighting ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dr. Tricia Le DDS. Why would your dentist invite you to a lighting ceremony? Feels like a trap. Probably a trap. I don't want to read the bill. We'll, we'll re read the work email. Hey there, I'm the lead editor for WTF Sounds. Fortunately, <laughs> formerly, oh my god, Sounds. Very good. We're a new up and coming audio review feed looking for hot talent who need a platform for their work. We'd love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. We'd be able to give you some great exposure and if we like your stuff, could possibly throw some creds your way. Don't any people die of exposure? Very good. Well, I don't think there's much that I care about in that really. Uh, Let's go and, go and have a look at these. YMO poster, stack of papers. Should we have a look? Rifle through it. Pen on paper is the most tangible method, but if you're gonna be so sloppy, maybe going digital would be a good goal. Know your principles whine too much at the thought. Would Hemingway go full digital if he were in 2064? Probably. Sink. We use our ID card on the sink. Don't stick that in there. You're certainly not gonna be the one to reach inside that to retrieve it. Very good. Let's turn on the sink and let it Oh my god, it's living slime in there. Fair enough. Could talk to it, see if it responds. <laughs> A sentient blob. Check in the fridge. Bottle of mustard and a carton of spoiled milk, which has developed an odour. We could take the milk. Nice. Brought along an unhealthy snack. I got myself an achievement. All right. We could try pouring the milk on the blob. No way. You can't possibly imagine the indescribable inhumane horrors you're about to unleash into the world. Or the stank. Should we go out the door? It's late and nothing is really open right now. All right, let's go to bed. You probably shouldn't sleep before submitting your article. Okay. We've got an article. We've got to submit. Oh, am I a journalist? Is that what... Journal, journalismo, journal logic was all about. Compose using journal logic. Before you can review the GX Ultra Beats, you must become one with the GX Ultra Beats. Where did you put those damn headphones anyway? All right, so I need to find some headphones so I can listen to music so I can compose. And welcome to why I don't like point and click games very much. Okay, we'll leave that on the ground, cool. Have a look in the plant. 
one of the easy parts to take care of. My headphones in there? No? Oh, come on, where are my headphones? Is that what it wants me to do? Look at this. Hayden gave the suit. The group is old, but the music is timeless. That's what he said, at least. Ah, there they are. Ultra Beats headphones. Good. Oh, I'm doing a product review. That makes sense. Smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. Ah, all right. Well, let's use them. Read only memories piano theme. Welcome to Neo SF. Home, not sweet home. Yeah, let's go for the piano theme. That sounds fun. Look at the headphones. Top of the line in budget headwear. Cool. All right. Oh, if we use an item on Lappy. I didn't actually read what that said. Sorry, guys. Um, those damn headphones. Live is a paid service, but that doesn't mean there aren't ads in between ads, even as for Lips Live. Sings automatically as you start to watch a live concert from Oakland. Okay, that's what you said. Jump in here. Now, hopefully, we can write about it. You should try out the headphones a little more before you write a review for them. Let's use Lips Live then. Sync to Lappy automatically as you connect to one of the less pornographic feeds. The best options are usually limited to a video games to video game streams. Well done. Old concert recordings and live cams of baby animals. Your choice is clear. Lappy speakers feels neglected, but now you have the first-hand experience needed to start actually writing the review. First part of work is done. You're so accomplished. Let's compose. There we go. All right, time to get work out of the way. Let's do this. Cat, cat watch. I'm glad that's what we chose. Finished. Now send it off to the editor. There, your big break. Surely your glowing review of GX Ultra Beats is your ticket out of poverty and into a book deal. Surely. Work is finally out of the way. Time for bed. Or you could read some OK Today and catch up on some news before you sleep. Do you know what? Let's do that. Click back button. Okay today. Let's have a look at what's going on in the world. Current events article. A story about the human revolution. That sounds interesting. Let's go. Human revolution remains vigilant in stay human protests in upper market. The human revolution is on day 10 of their protesting outside various genus clinics around the city. Bugger. Genus, the gene splicing treatment facility, has been met with much controversy since the organisation reached mainstream exposure over the past few years. Genus employee Mort Crane spoke to OK Today exclusively. According to him, most genus workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorised in their own city. We're here to help people who need gene therapy for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. Individual rights have always been of paramount importance to us. Importance to us, he continued, and we believe that our customers have the right to live as they please or require. The human revolution stands behind their claim that Genus is diluting the human experience by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. The group feels that the goals stated by Genus, in addition to newer cybernetic technology, are warping humanity into a very scary, dark future. They're playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human! Who are we to mess with our genes and start turning everybody into who knows what? Said one protester, who asked to remain anonymous. It's ridiculous and scary. It's not human. For more information to follow as this story develops late into the holiday 2064 season. Okay. Charlie Nova, sports article, local news article. Should we just check what sports are these days? The Neo, S Neo San Francisco 49ers quest for 10 is back on. Sunday's big game at New Candlestick brings an important question to everyone's mind. Can the 49ers punch their ticket to the playoffs and bring the Lombardi Trophy back to Neo San Francisco? It would mark the first win since the move to New Candlestick after an almost 50-year hiatus from the city. Since returning, they've had disappointing losses to the New York Giants and the Mexico City Lucadores. Lucadores. 
They've brought, a fr they've brought on a fresh coach, but controversy surrounds their new quarterback, Patricia Lopez, as some vocal sports fans continue to accuse her of having illegal cybernetic enhancements. Nothing changes, does it? Very modern day. Certain modifications of implants are banned by the league, but their official reports state that their repeated investigations into Lopez found no evidence to substantiate those rumours. It's relevant to point out that Lopez is the first woman to ever be quarterback in a major football team. The 49ers look to reclaim their top spot since their last win, with their Super Bowl 79 victory over the Tokyo Titans. Sunday's game is a rubber match, and the winner secures a spot in the playoffs. Between our near San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs, it will be a close game to say the least. Catch Sunday's results here first. For all things everything, I'm the same person who wrote the other one. He seems to write a lot of these things. Alright, cool. I think that's that's enough reading. Should we log out? Time for bed. Get into bed. Go to sleep. Wake up tomorrow and be a robot. Oh, that was sinister. Oh. Ba -ba. Is that the thing I've created? Or maybe I haven't created anything. Good, you're finally awake. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? Uh, no. I don't suppose I am. Uh, what the hecky? I like that. That's a good oh, response. I hope you don't mind. Well, I'm not in. While you were asleep, I had too enthusiastic time about on it. My hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bisac. What's Bisac? Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for oh, the long-term wow. performance of my microactuators. Yeah, so you... I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. You have done, but you've ignored the sink blob. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've uh, run into a bit of a snag. Yes. What's the snag? Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. <laughs> An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. I would consider it no great loss, though. Hey. Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? Can I use you instead? Are you a good computer? All my work was on there. Don't fret. I did manage to back up your data drive's contents on my storage before the crash. Uh-oh. Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. I'm worried how much porn was on there and now he knows. Maybe that's why he's blushing. He's like, hmm. Wasn't Here's expecting that pill from there. Yeah, why are you here? Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Hayden, that's the one. Hayden, you know Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. They're the one that created you, I'm guessing. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Ah. Oh. Help me. You, you lost your dad. my only hope. But you're certainly the most statistically supported. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. What makes you believe that? I ran an algorithm Oops. against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. That's a good algorithm you have there. Um, yeah, I could try. The numbers don't lie about your investigative skills, but I will admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. 
I mean, you need to work on being Don't worry. polite. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. Don't hate this robot, though. What's it's your name? Anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He trying to find you. Terrified, even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window and, after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. Why would they want Hayden? He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. It's because of you. He's created you and they want you. I That's what I think. It has to do with me. Yeah, that's what I suspect. Who are you anyway? What do you have to do with it? Tell me your uh, name. Excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had this the pleasure be a good of doing name. so before. Come on, be a good name. I am Turing. <laughs> Turing, okay. I good name. This must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. Very appropriate name. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. I wonder if Turing is going to set me a test. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Yeah, I think so. Either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. Uh, yeah, what makes you different from any other ROM? ROM has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even human seeming, when you talk to them. Like AI these days, right? They're just predictive models. They're not actually intelligent. Everyone goes on about, oh yeah, chat GPT or whatever, but it, it's not actually doing any artificial intelligence. It's literally just incredibly complex predictive models that lets it predict what each next word should be but they're and it just looks really cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in yeah. an organic manner there you go they aren't Very well in said. any way self-deterministic no exactly so we don't need to be worried about it yet but As when for myself, things like you come about my code wasn't actually written by Hayden but <gasps> rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me but despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Fair enough. You want your parent, don't you? Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you know, one way or the other, yeah. How would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? That's the age-old sci-fi question, isn't it, really? You're right. I apologize for the tangent. That's okay. It's interesting. Was anyone out for Hayden? I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late, and has warned me to stay alert. But he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. It'll be some underground organization, won't it? We get started. Time is of the essence. Yeah, let's stop nattering and let's, I took let's move the liberty it. of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account. Oh, and thanks. the car has just arrived. Yep. I can totally afford that. Lead the way. Well, this is much more engaging and interesting than I gave it credit for. Um, I thought this was going to be crap, if I'm honest. Uh, but it's it's got some good production values. Hmm, that's strange. It's engaging. It's well written. 
This guy's quite good. What's strange? Are we at his apartment? Yeah, we are. Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Hmm. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Ah, so they've replaced it. It's possible. To make Most it look like the there wasn't one. The building are handled by the automated systems. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Well, at worst, it was the assailants doing it to make it look like nothing happened. Cover it up. Oh, a lucky break. It seems my access codes still work. Oh, fantastic. They even replaced the store has far better security original than locks. Does. Yeah, well. Let's just head in. Uh, are you sure he was actually kidnapped, Yuri? I don't make a habit of entering people's homes in the middle of the night without permission for no reason. Breaking and entering is just not a sustainable hobby. So yes, I am quite certain. I saw it happen myself. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to either. You're very small. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. And neither are you. We're honest. Aren't you programming against humming, of humming humans? Not. How silly. <laughs> to make a machine intelligence truly self deterministic, it must be able to self modify. Yeah, but it could still be. Program not to harm Any humans. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. Nah. Wow, sorry, sorry, Isaac Asimov. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. We're just discarding his three laws. Okay. Please don't. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. This game's sort of addressing interesting bits of philosophy and slightly doing it in different ways than the cliché. The good. social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Glad we're clear on that one. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But I... You? We did Excellent what? Point. Yeah, it's okay. Let's start searching for clues. That looks like a clue. Broken tech. Bustard, he must have dropped it in the skirmish. Okay. Let's have a look on his computer. That's Hayden's computer. I realise. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM. But desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. How do we get in? Unfortunately, no, I don't. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. Oh, okay. That uh, wouldn't be too easy. I'm sorry to disappoint you. If you'd like to try your hand at digital breaking and entering, be my guest. But I don't think I'll try and out I hack a robot. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. <laughs> Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software, if I attempt to slice it. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. Fair enough. Uh, can't you download the I knowledge from the mesh net? But much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. Fair enough. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. While computers can only Explain. think in straight lines, 
humans can think sideways and upside down. <laughs> I lack that ability. No, fair enough. You must be well, capable I of it. Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds, I just don't think I'm very good with computers. <laughs> I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. Ah. Hayden You're adorable. was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. <laughs> abstract art doesn't seem like something, That's something good. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. Fair enough. Go back to searching. That was interesting. ROM parts. I don't even own a ROM. Let's have a look at it. Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that at work. Photos, a plant. Look at the photos. Pictures of Hayden traveling all over the world. Working at a company like Parallax ensures you'll be you'll be more than well off. Double check the plant. Do much better than the one at home. Yeah. Right. The window. Did they come in through the window? Hayden likes the natural light. No. But this apartment they came in through the door. He said they needed to change the locks. This window here is where I escaped from. Oh, I it see. It's a considerable distance to the ground below. How did you get down? I took the fire escape. Ah, well done. Clever, clever boy or girl. Of course you did. Right. Game consoles. TV. What else do we have? Stack of books. Oh, I think I see something under <gasps> those reference books. There it is. There's our clue. What's this? A tablet. Let's use ah, it. That device. What's wrong I with it? I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. Ha. Huh. Speaking of schedule, guys, that's 30 minutes in. We'll finish what he's saying. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. Ooh. It looks like there's a place here for a physical memory card. Which we need to find, presumably. Okay. We need to find a memory card and stick it in there. I guess it'll be there. Go on, let's take it quickly. Chuck it in. Memory card removed from items and put in there. Puzzle, your first puzzle Aiden is the achievement I got. The memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Hmm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. But he was protecting you, probably. He was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Ring any digital bells? Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. All right, go and find Tomcat. Says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. I'll mark it on your city map. Stardust added to city map. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. All right, and that's the city map. Guys, that's it for now. Um, as ever, we've got 30 minutes and we've used them wisely. I think I'm interested in that game. I would give it a pass, a, uh, a passing mark. I would continue with this in future. I would not pass on it. I need to think about that terminology, don't I? I would, yeah, I, 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 I could see myself trying a bit more of this. Looks like we've got a <clears throat> futuristic cyberpunk, tongue in cheek, low res, retro, point-and-click inspired detective mystery game. I think that's what we've got here. That's got some decent writing, a lovely bit of world building and lore, really good music and sound. And I'll just say the writing again is really, really good. It's nicely paced, it's actually engaging and it's interesting. And uh, yeah, game's supposed to take about nine hours in total, so we're one eighteenth of the way there. but. This has been 2064 Read Only Memories, and I will see you all next time we play one of the games from my library. Love and peace. Goodbye.
that button. Smash.